what up loves happy sunday well today's actually saturday but it's going to be sunday when you guys are seeing this so happy sunday how are you guys doing i hope everybody is well and resting and doing your sunday resets and all that good stuff <laughs> for me i'm going to be taking you guys along with my what i eat in a day today and hopefully i don't go overboard with the calories and hopefully i don't go underboard with the calories because i find myself not eating on my days when i'm supposed to be eating so we had to work on that a bit but if you are new here welcome 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 if you are my a1s from day ones thank you guys for coming back and thank you for all the love and support Court. so having all that said and done y'all we need to do a catch up on this weight loss journey because your girl is losing some weight okay your girl's losing some weight i'm not seeing it i'm not seeing it but i can definitely feel it in my clothes and the scale is going down so that is definitely a good thing we lost another eight pounds this week i know right <laughs> another eight pounds this week so i'm definitely happy that the scale is going down but anyways we'll get into that in another video i'm gonna stop talking <laughs> and let you guys watch what i eat in a day i hope you guys enjoy so until then see y'all later Cheers. <laughs> So starting off with breakfast, aka brunch, because your girl did not eat early. It is literally one o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to be making us some, is it called rolled burritos or rolled tortillas or is it called a omelet, a wrapped omelet? Anyway, not sure, but I'm going to be using my chihuahua chi chi, what I showed you guys, and we're going to be making the eggs the same way we did in our last breakfast video with some eggs, of course, for me and hubby, salt, black pepper, as well as our onion powder, garlic powder, some chili flakes, a little bit of parsley, and some milk to make our eggs.
Now that my eggs are cooked down well enough for me to go ahead and flip them, I'm going to add a little bit of cheese. I'm using a little bit of gouda as well as a little bit of cheddar cheese. Use whatever cheese if you want cheese. If you don't want cheese, don't use cheese. If you want a vegan cheese, then use your vegan cheese. <laughs> then I'm going to be using a little bit of two different kinds of cheeses. And then I'm going to add my wrap on top of it. And we're using the last of this white wrap. I cannot wait to get rid of it. I do not like white bread. I don't know why. I just don't like it. But anyways, I'm going to add the wrap to the top of this. And the reason why I decided to cook it this way today is because I want to toast my wrap a little because I don't like the taste of white bread. <laughs> so in order for me to do that, I'm just going to place it on top, make sure it's stuck to the cheese. And then we're going to flip it over for a little while for the wrap to cook as well as the other side of the egg. Now, Whenever you're doing stuff on camera, it never turns out perfect. But when you're not doing it on camera, you know what? It comes out amazing. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but anyways, my eggs did not flip perfectly, but they're going to taste amazing anyway. So we're going to we're gonna go ahead and just toast this wrap as well as make sure that the other side of the egg is well cooked, at least well cooked. So now that our wrap is nice and rolled, I'm going to go ahead and cut mine up in little pieces because, you know, I'm just a little extra <laughs> and I wanted a cute pic <laughs> for the video. So I'm just going to cut mine up a little, but you don't have to do this. You can leave it as a whole wrap or you can just cut it in half, whatever you prefer. I'm just being extra, okay? Because that's me. If if I don't, then I'm not Letitia. I'm not being true to myself, right? <laughs> so this is how the meal looks. The one on the other side that's just cut in half is hubby's own. And this is mine's. And it was delicious. For my snack, because I was still very full from breakfast, I'm just going to have one of these rice cakes and it's covered in a dark chocolate. And as you guys can see, the calories on this is very, very low. Now it's time for dinner. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And we are going to be making us some Asian food, some Japanese food, some Chinese food, whatever you want to call it. We're making it at home. <laughs> so we control what goes inside it. I'm going to start off by making my spicy mayo. And of course, for my spicy mayo, I'm not doing any measurements. I like to taste my food as I make it. So I'm just going to add some mayo, ketchup, some sriracha as well as some paprika and i'm just going to mix that together and if i feel like i need a little more of something else i'm just going to go ahead and add that in go ahead and taste your food that's how you know if it needs something or it's lacking something or if it has too much of something <laughs> Now what I realized is the sriracha with the green cover is not as spicy as the sriracha with the red cover, the old ball that we had, but that's neither here nor there. It's just not as spicy. It's more, I guess, flavored. It has a taste, but not much sharpness or spiciness. Sorry, sharp is German. <laughs> So I'm just going to add our mayo mix to the old bottle and shake that up so it has a little bit more spice and I'm just going to use that for whenever we make 
our sushi wraps and we just need to squeeze the spicy mayo on top. So for our tuna mix, I'm going to make all of it at one time, but I'm going to take out half of it before I add the sriracha because I'm making this meal for my husband, myself, and my stepdaughter. She requested this meal because she went in the kitchen and saw my noris. So I was forced to make this meal. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm the victim here. <laughs> so for my tuna mix, I'm going to be adding to the entire thing some chives because I didn't have any green onions, but use green onions, of course. It'll definitely taste better. I'm using some soy sauce, a little bit of sugar, and a little bit of sesame oil, not much. I would say use about a teaspoon or a half of a teaspoon and taste because y'all know sesame oil has a very, very dominant taste. So now I'm just taking out a little of the mix for her roll so it's not spicy because she does not like spice. At least she says she doesn't like it, but she loves it. Shh. <laughs> so I'm just going to add the sriracha into the mix for myself and my husband and then I'm going to put this aside. For my sushi rice, I'm going to be using regular jasmine rice, but if you guys want to get fancy and go ahead and buy sushi rice, you can do that. But I'm using jasmine rice and I'm just adding a little bit of the rice vinegar to this just to give you know it a flavor. And then for our wraps or our rolls, sushi rolls, I'm going to be using some cucumber as well as some avocado. And a little trick for while you're waiting to do your wraps or your sushi rolls, put a little bit of lemon juice or lime juice over your avocado. It will help it to stop browning. So now we're on to the batter for our shrimps as well as our fried sushi roll. So I'm just using some flour as well as some ice cold water and that's going to be for my batter and then of course for my dry mixture i'm just using some breadcrumbs and that's basically it so you just want to add your flour and your water until you get the consistency that you want and that's about it <laughs> very easy very simple very quick and we're saving a lot of money because y'all know sushi is expensive oh Now to try to get my shrimp to lay as flat as possible. Yes, my shrimps are nice and cleaned, guys. They are cleaned and deveined, okay? But to get them nice and flat, I'm just going to slice the belly of them and then press them down to try to get them fly flat. But of course, you know, they will roll. They will. I'm, I, I'm just telling you now, they're gonna roll. So I'm just going to dip it in the batter and this is only for my sushi and I'm not going to leave it in long because I am going to fry our sushi roll. I don't want my shrimp to be rubbery. So I'm just going to leave it in long enough for the batter on it to fry and then I'm just going to take it out. But of course, you don't even have to fry your, your shrimp for your fried sushi roll. I'm just doing it because I like to make sure my food's cooked, okay? <laughs> but you don't have to do it. I'm doing it. <laughs> so this is just my way. I've already wrapped my stepdaughter's sushi. Hers only has the toner inside it and the rice is on the outside of the nari. But for ours, because I'm deep frying it, our rice is going to be on the inside of our nori. So of course, make sure that you're placing um, some water with a little bit of the rice vinegar just to keep your hands from sticking to the rice. And then you're going to place the rice on the not so smooth side of the nori. 
if you didn't know now you know it has two sides one side is nice and shiny and the other side is a little rough and bumpy that's the side you're going to use for your rice now i'm just going to go ahead and lay this out as even as i possibly can and then i'm going to press it down with my hands and you want to make sure that you keep your hands nice and wet because the rice will stick to your hands Now notice that when you're making sushi rolls, you always leave just a little bit of the nori free of rice. And that's just to help it stick to the other side of the nori. So now that our rice is down, I'm going to be adding a little bit of cream cheese or what they say in German, quark. <laughs> I'm going to be adding a little bit of cream cheese to the bed of my rice just in one corner. And this is the part where we're going to roll. Then I'm going to put down my cucumbers. This is going to be a nice fat roll. Y'all don't be like me and overdo it, okay? <laughs> and then I'm going to put down my avocado. Then I'm going to add my fried shrimps. These shrimps weren't very big, so I decided to use two of the biggest ones like to the end and then put the other small one in the middle. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add our tuna mix y'all this tastes so good but if y'all have fresh tuna like the the real tuna add that instead it tastes much better but y'all i use canned tuna okay <laughs> hello ghetto style <laughs> so add your tuna mix to it it tastes good so it doesn't matter to me if you get the fresh tuna or not but anyways that's neither here nor there and then we're just going to roll this as tightly and as best as we can and I'm just adding a little bit of water to the nori just to make sure that it sticks after I've rolled it together we don't want this opening up while we're frying it so lazy girl style I'm adding my flour to my nori <laughs> just like that but don't be like me definitely add your flour in a bowl and then add it to the nori I'm just being lazy then we're gonna go ahead and dip it in the batter and then we're going to hit going to go ahead and coat it in the breadcrumbs then after that we're just gonna fry it for a little until it's nice and crisp I realized that on camera it looks a little gray but in person it looks brown so i don't know what's up with that but whatever <laughs> so we're just going to fry this for a couple of minutes and then we're going to take it out rest it on a nice sheet of paper hand towel and let that drain off while we make our rice this rice is going to go by very very quickly because I made my rice early in the morning so it had time to cool down so all I had to do is go ahead and chop up my onions and of course y'all know I'm using frozen vegetables <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and cook down my onion and sweet pepper and I actually forgot to cook my shrimps first so I'm just going to add them in that corner but what you should do do is you should cook your shrimp first and then you should add your onions and your sweet peppers <laughs> but I forgot so I'm cooking them side by side and they're okay with it all right <laughs> so I'm just going to down my shrimps for a few minutes I don't want to overcook these because we're going to be adding it back into the hot rice and let it cook down for another couple of minutes and you do not I repeat you do not want chewy shrimps so i'm just cooking these for a minute on each side if that much now i'm going to add some garlic of course if you have fresh garlic definitely add your fresh garlic i'm using what i had <laughs> so i'm going to add a few teaspoons of garlic and i'm going to cook that down and then after my shrimp is nice and pink But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance
all the way to the bottom of the pot you can take everything out and there is not one burnt rice what you know about that hey can cook <laughs> i'm just playing guys but i'm going to start on my rice and of course to my chinese rice i always always add cucumber cucumber in english is turmeric so I'm going to add some turmeric to my rice and to reap the benefits of the turmeric, I'm going to add some black pepper. Now for that Asian taste, I'm going to add some wok sauce. I'm going to also add some soy sauce and a little bit of ingvar. Ingvar in English is ginger <laughs> y'all be forgetting these english words then i'm going to add some ginger just for a little bit of kick <laughs> and then i'm going to add a little bit of chili flakes and that is going to be our rice mix y'all hear me speaking like a jamaican i'm not jamaican i'm bahamian i just like to mock other accents that's all <laughs> So to add just a little more of that Asian flavor, I'm gonna go ahead and put some more chives into it. But of course, if you have green onions, definitely use the green onions instead. I did not have that, so I'm using what I have. <laughs> and of course, you guys are going to see that little hand go in with a spoon to taste. That's my husband making sure everything is done well. And once you see that head throw back, and that eyes close and that mmm then I know <laughs> that I did a very good job with this meal <laughs> And last but definitely not least we are going to add the shrimps back to the party and I'm just going to mix this in the rice and just let it warm the shrimp back up for a few minutes one or two minutes because this meal is finished and then we're just going to plate our meal now look at those sushi rolls like I was saying they look gray but they're brown like really brown and person so i don't know what's up there but look at that rice when i tell y'all this was this was seasoned good eh <laughs> once again with my jamaican accent i am not jamaican by the way just in case you guys wanted to know but i like to mark cultures i just i love to do it okay so i'm just going to add the rice to the plate don't add too much because y'all this meal is very very filling and then i'm going to add my sushi rolls and then i'm going to use that spicy mayo to top this off and then of course to add something green to the plate i'm going to once again add just a little bit of those chives 
to the top of my sushi roll and this plate is completed this was so delicious oh my goodness guys if you enjoyed this video definitely make sure you like comment share and subscribe and i will see y'all in my next one so until then choose <laughs>